Hey everybody, it's Liz. It's been a long time since I've made a cooking video. Today we're gonna try something exciting for the red wine diet. I know you're gonna be thrilled by this. Oops, I'm trying to get you to stick in my little container. Okay, so we're gonna try something. A friend of mine shared a recipe with me. It's called, are you ready? Red wine hot chocolate combo. So if we're gonna be on the red wine diet, it is the holidays, we might be looking for something new. We're gonna give this a try. So what you're gonna need is a decent wine. It really isn't gonna be that great. I love the winter red from Cooper's Hawk. So we're gonna use that and it's really a great mulling wine. And some cinnamon sticks and a little cloves. We're gonna throw that in there. And let's go ahead and do that right away because we wanna start it cooking. So we're gonna pour a cup of red wine into a red measuring cup because that's such an awesome idea. And we're gonna put that on the stove. And we're going to turn that up to something up here. Hopefully this thing will start. Okay. So yeah, we're going to bring this mulling wine up. We're going to throw in some cinnamon. Should open this ahead of time. And some cloves. Should open those ahead of time too. That's okay. Here's how we do it. I'm just take a knife. Uh, get out your brush. It works really well. And I mean, you use cinnamon sticks, by the way. Don't throw just regular cinnamon there. That would be kind of gross. Cinnamon sticks. Throw a couple in there. Maybe just two. And then you're going to put some cloves in there as well. Okay, yeah, I know I use a knife really well, don't I? Okay, those are going in next. Ooh, how many cloves do I want? Mm. I'm gonna put in like this many cloves, kind of like a little bit of a handful, but not really. Can you see that? I hope so. Those are going in too. Okay, so we got that going. Now, to make this better for us, we're gonna use almond milk instead of um, milk milk. So we're gonna shake up our almond milk. I'm using Almond Breeze Original Unsweetened, okay, to make our hot chocolate. And we're gonna pour a cup of that. Oh, and the key from what the article said was not to mix to cook the milk and the wine separately. So that's what we're gonna do. So now we're gonna throw the um, milk in another pot back here. And we're gonna get that going as well. Okay, so now we have our wine going and our almond milk going. Now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make a double boiler. <laughs> some of you guys, broiler or whatever, some of you might already have this, but what you're gonna do, we're gonna put some water in a pan, okay? And we're gonna put that on the stove, we're gonna turn it on high. We want that to get super hot front. Come on, there we go, that's it. Now we're cooking. Okay, now, what we're gonna do is take a, pan, a bowl. I like to use a metal bowl. Of course, you wanna use a metal bowl for this, so hopefully you have one. You're gonna put this right in the water. And while you're gonna do this, we're gonna take our chocolate. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that. You know, really good dark chocolate, because dark chocolate's on the diet and wine's on the chocolate, on the chocolate, on the diet too. So I got mine from Bissinger's, who's St. Louis tradition. Um, and I'm gonna take my good old dark chocolate, and it's really good, and I'm gonna kind of break it up a little bit, and I'm gonna put it in my double boiler. Ooh, my wine is really getting too hot, so I'm gonna turn that down to low, and kind of just let that on there. Ooh, mm, it smells great. Okay, so then, we have the wine on low, we got the milk cooking in the back, and now we're gonna start melting our chocolate. now. What the recipe said was that, that you want to use good dark chocolate in it. So we've got that on the double boiler. And the reason why you use it like this instead of just cooking the pan, I know you guys will figure it out, it burns. This way it won't. It gets nice and smooth, but it doesn't burn. So I think I probably put in too much chocolate. So I'm going to take one of these guys. And it's already starting to melt, so okay. So you want to use about this size piece of chocolate to do this, okay? Can you see? Of course, it would be nice if I actually weighed it because it's kind of a nice thick piece. It's probably about two ounces of chocolate. Okay, let's check this one off the side. Now, we got our hot, our milk's going, our chocolate's going. Now, if you're using the metal pan, here's something you want to remember. You're going to use a hot pad to hold it. Otherwise, boom. Now, some of you guys might actually have, if, then you also don't want to catch on your hot pad on fire. That's another thing. But um, some of you guys might actually have the real deal, but this works just as well. So metal bowl in a metal pan, and we're going to melt our chocolate in here. It's starting to melt up real nice. We've got our chocolate cook, our wine's cooking. Chocolate's melting, and we got this whole thing going on. So we're gonna bring this melting, 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 melting. It's pretty cool how this works. I figured it out when I was making Christmas cookies when I burnt the first batch of chocolate that this is why they said to do it this way. Um, so, but you can make do, like make do or do without, like the World War II saying. Um, okay, yeah, it's coming along nicely. So we're melting our chocolate here, and then what we're gonna do, you guys, we're gonna mix our chocolate, our really delicious, yummy, dark chocolate, into our milk it's coming to a nice boil as well stir that up at this point i'm using the same stir because frankly i'm going to mix it all together anyway right so we got a red wine going we have our milk going we have our chocolate on our double double boiler thing oh it's really starting out now this is great so what i'm going to do okay come on 
melting. Sorry, I don't know how to make this like fast forward or anything. So you kind of get what you get. And um, it's me like cooking and I'm sorry it's taking so long. Okay, so we're stirring, we're stirring, we're stirring. And it's melting, it looks really good. I wish you could see it, there you go. Okay. But the coolest thing is it doesn't burn. And that's like really awesome, right? Because um, otherwise it would totally burn. I just like talking to you guys while I'm welding because that's like what they say about a boiling pot. If you wait, if you watch, it doesn't do it. And that's kind of the same thing with your chocolate. Okay, ooh yeah. All right, so everything's looking really good. We've got our nice hot wine mulling. We've got our chocolates almost melted. And now I'm going to, oh yes. I'm gonna take my melted chocolate. And I'm gonna add it to my milk. But I'm gonna take it off the stove, okay? So I'm taking this off. It's gonna be kind of tricky. It's nice and boiling. I need to turn that off. Okay. I'm gonna put this in. Hmm. Okay, this is where it gets tricky. The suspense is killing all of us. Here we go. We're gonna take our chocolate. And we're gonna pour it right into our yummy milk here. Get that chocolate, nice, rich, dark chocolate. Because dark chocolate and wine, nothing better than that, right? Okay. We got that going. Yay! It's looking really good. Okay, I've got too many things cooking on the stove here, you guys, I gotta say. Okay, I'm adding a really yummy chocolate in there. And what's really great, it's nice and smooth, as you can kind of see. Oh, wait, you can't see it all. You can see my back. Yay! What was really smooth, let me turn this off. I know, I feel like Julia Childs when she cut her finger. Okay, so I'm gonna move my bowl, my nice chocolate. Whoa! <laughs> that would have been a very big mess. Okay, so I've got the chocolate and the milk. You can kind of see that, yeah? Yum, right? Okay, nice, rich, dark chocolate going on there. The, oh, I just splattered that. Hey, uh, wearing a white top and making hot chocolate and wine together was really not my best fashion statement, but hey, what can I say? Okay, so that's hot. I just put the bowl in the sink because I only put out one um, hot pad, which wasn't the smartest thing I've ever done. And then I'm scraping out my chocolate here. Good to last drop, right? <laughs> If you guys were watching, I'd probably dump the milk in the bowl. You know what, I might do that anyway. Kind of use all the chocolate, get it really great. I'm sure this is the way they plan it. Now I'm dumping my chocolate in my hot bowl. I'm stirring it up. That looks way better. Gotta tell you, here's what we're talking about. This is super hot, I wonder why. It doesn't look delicious. Oh wait, you can't really see it. Trust me, it looks delicious. Okay, now what we're gonna do, oh my God, I can't believe we're gonna do this. We're gonna mix the red wine and the chocolate together. Okay, we need a cup. Let's see. This is my favorite well-behaved women seldom make history. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna put in our wine, our mulled wine, very spicy red going on over here. Uh, you don't kind of want to get the cinnamon in there, but here we go. Me being me, I'm just gonna pour it to see what happens. Wish me good luck. Probably wanna strain out the cloves. Yeah, let's see. Hmm. Don't really have anything to do that with. Oh, I could use a spoon. Okay, so what I'm gonna do use a big spoon here and just pour it really oops that's a fork hello fork. <laughs> that's called intense identification issue okay here we go we're going to just pour this very slowly to keep the cloves from jumping in there too using my spoon kind of as like a stopper it's actually working really well it smells delicious i wish you could smell it so sorry that you can't whoops okay looking good i got the red wine in my mug can't believe I'm doing this, okay? Hey, Cosmopolitan said this was great too. And if it's in Cosmo and in the New York Times, I mean, it's gotta be good, right? What could go wrong, right? Okay, here we go. So we got the wine in there. I put in a cup of wine, uh, the one cup measuring, it's about a half cup of my big old coffee mark here. Now I'm gonna add my hot chocolate. Okay, here we go. Oh yeah. This looks pretty delicious, I have to say. Okay. It's kind of pink. It looks like, um, oh, red velvet cake. Yes. I'm kind of afraid. Mmm. Of course, it's good. I'm also talking now. Here we go. Oh, this is really, really good. Oh my God. This is so good. Okay. This is really good. All right. So, once again, you're going to use a cup of almond milk. You're going to use about two ounces of really good dark chocolate, kind of fat and mm, yummy dark chocolate. And then you're going to have a cup of red wine and you're going to mix them together. And if I had marshmallows, I'd put them right on top. Okay, so this is red wine diet for the holidays. Remember on that diet, you can't have that dark chocolate. You definitely have the red wine. And the almond milk is a much better choice than um, regular milk for the diet. So here we go. Yay. Enjoy. Merry Christmas.